Hi, Adam speaking from binoculars.guys.com. Uh, today I've got to talk about uh, different uh, types of binoculars, of about different magnifications, because very often people, uh, if you want to buy a binocular, you don't know which really magnification will will serve you better. Uh, for example, uh, and, and I want to make it clear for you so you can. Uh, make the right choice when uh, buying a binocular. For example, this binocular living from American uh, Levin Hook brand. It's a magnification 12. Uh, it's a pretty powerful binocular. It is This binocular is a magnification uh, 8 from Ceres Strong. This is from Ceres This compact binocular. Okay. This is, for example, magnification 4 from Bushnell. And this is the uh, the most the most powerful binocular is the magnification 20 from Pentax. This is Japan optical instrument. So basically speaking, when you uh, when you plan to buy a binocular, you need to understand the the purpose why you buy the uh, why you plan to buy this binocular. If you, for example, buy it for general use, then I think uh, the magnification, for example, 10. Oh, uh, but this magnification is 12. If you buy uh, for general use, I think magnification uh, up to 12 is 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 pretty good for a general for a general use because it's a pretty pretty powerful binocular, and the field of view is good, is wide. Be, uh, for example, magnification 12 or magnification 10 or magnification 8 like this. So this is uh, I think will serve your purpose very well because magnification uh, 8 and 10 are the most uh, buying binoculars uh, online uh, in online world most people prefer magnification 10 10 and 8 some people prefer 12 for example sometimes i think for me magnification 8 or 10 is not enough that's why i use this binocular magnification 12 this is powerful uh, but we need to understand which magnification is the best for us. The most important thing you need to understand, as I told you, first of all, you need to decide the purpose why you buy binocular. If, for example, you buy, uh, as I told you, for general use, then magnification 8, 8 uh, like this, or 10 or 12 like this, up to 12 is the maximum. Our magnification like this, 4, four magnification, this is a free focus binocular. You see, for in normal binoculars, you have a free uh, uh, the central wheel, central focus wheel that you have to adjust the the view and the diopter. You see the diopter. It is a central focus wheel for la for left eye, and it is a diopter for for the right eye. Uh, this binocular, for example, for magnification four, it is a free focus binocular. There is no central focus wheel, no diopter. You just take this binocular and look through it without any focusing. So this is very easy to use for people. And if you plan to, if you want such a binocular like this, easy to use without any adjusting any view, I think this magnification four is the is the is the best choice. It is not so. It is not super powerful, but it is pretty powerful for general use to to use at home or when traveling for nature or for stadiums. It's it's okay. Uh, especially, it is good for children. There is no need to focus to adjust the focus. So when it comes to, uh, for example, Pentax, which is a magnification twelve, uh, I'm sorry, twenty. This binocular is very. Uh, bulky so this is uh, for for example it's it is good for astronomical observations or for looking at, at for observing distant objects for example five or ten kilometers from you so let's uh, make some uh, uh, recap so, so you understand which binocular to choose so as i told you the the most powerful binocular is not always the good thing for general use, as I told you, the, the, the best binocular would be magnification uh, 8, 10 or 12, up to 12. Be why up to 12? I can tell you because when you choose the powerful binocular, the field of view becomes wide. Uh, I'm sorry, becomes narrow. For example, in binocular this, pen uh, Pentax uh, magnification tw uh, 20, 
the field of view is 2.2 degrees. So it is pretty narrow field of view. So when you look the, through the binocular, your field of view uh, becomes very narrow, 2.2 degrees. In this binocular, for example, uh, magnification 12, uh, so the magnification is uh, less powerful than this. The field of view becomes uh, it is 4.7, so twice as wider than this. That is why when you buy binocular for general use, you need to understand that uh, if you choose the most powerful magnification, like this, 20, the field of view will be narrow. That is why uh, you, you need to keep this in mind. The more powerful binocular, the narrow, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the field of view becomes narrow. That is why if you want a binocular that will be powerful and has a uh, good field of view, then you probably need to choose the binocular magnification, as I told you, 4, 8 or 10 or maximum 12. Because magnification 12, it still has good field of view, 4.7 degrees. Anything uh, more powerful than this, for example, magnification 15, already the field of view will be very narrow. That is why it's the most important thing when it comes to magnification. When you choose a powerful binocular, magnification becomes narrow. Plus, when you choose magnification high power binocular, we'll live from magnification like 15 or 20, binocular becomes very bulky you see you need to to use a tri tripod to get a sh uh, to avoid uh, looking uh, because when you if you choose binocular uh, powerful binocular magnification 20 with and use it without a tripod when you look through it your image will be shaky because the binocular is bulky you need to use it with with, with a tripod that is why uh, magnification uh, less powerful magnification means steady image uh, lightweight binocular and the field of view will be wide that's the most important things you need to keep in mind when choosing magnification and i th i hope my video was helpful if you still have some questions please let me know in the uh, under this video and i will have will be happy to help you to choose the right binocular